In this video, you'll learn how to display total summaries in a grids footer. So let's take a look. I'll start with a new Silverlight application project. I expand the Solution Explorer and right click to open the Add Reference window. I hold down the Control key and click to select the following components. I click OK to add them to my Silverlight project. Next, I'll add namespace references to the devexpress.ag data grid. and devexpress.ag editors CLR assemblies. In the layout route, I create a new AG data grid control and specify a name for it. I save the project and switch to code view. For the purpose of this example, I'm going to use a simple list as my data source. I add the following class to store the data, and another class to create some test data. Now I need to bind the grid to data. In the page's default constructor, I set the data source property to the getData function of the product list class. I switch to the XAML editor. I enable the grid's show totals attribute so that total summary values may be created and displayed within the footer. Next, I create a columns collection and specify the columns for the grid. You can see here that using the AG editors library, I've specified the values in the unit price column to be formatted and displayed as dollar currency values. I create a total summary collection and within it add four summary items. The first one will display the smallest value from the unit price column. The second one will display the largest value. The third one will calculate and display the average value from the data found in the unit price column. Finally, the fourth summary item will count and display the number of unique company names in the data. And that's it. I run the application to see the results. You can see the summary items displayed within the footer of the grid. Notice that they are aligned under the column from which the summary value has been calculated. Thanks for watching, and as always, thank you for choosing DevExpress.